All right, and for the final movement of the warm-up, he's going to go into 10 alternating med ball lunges. He's just going to hold the med ball nice and tall. He can step forward into his lunge, or he can step back. Whichever, you're, whichever is most comfortable for you, that's what we would prefer to do. Right, from there, we're going to immediately go into another run, but this time we're going to take the med ball or the backpack with us. So you're going to take off for a 100-meter run, 30, 45 seconds, maybe a minute of run time for that. Then he's going to come in and do med ball cleans. Those of you that typically don't do med ball cleans, what I would ask, I would ask you to do is just continue to work through the uh, med ball deadlifts into med, do five med ball deadlifts into five front squats. If you're not trained or you've never practiced cleans, don't get, don't get too hung up on that. But those that have done med ball cleans from the side. What we're looking for again, he's in that good positioning. He's gonna then make sure hips open up, shrug high, drop up under it, standing straight up. Okay, again, those of you that have been coming to CrossFit Heat, um, we've been through these. If you feel comfortable, definitely get these in. If not, a deadlift into a front squat. Those that have never done them, uh, same thing. Five deadlifts, five front squats again. Then he's gonna go into a med ball thruster. So that's a front squat with a press overhead. So it looks just like that from the side. Again, hips are dropping, standing nice and tall. Into this kid. All right, guys, for those that want to do a little extra on top of the uh, 15 minute or the four rounds, whichever uh, you had, we also have in today a little bit more uh, core work. Uh, that's going to be two to three sets of 15 tuck-ups and five by five on our side plank rotations. We'll show you both of these, then we'll also show you alternatives to those that we can make happen. All right, so the tuck-ups, what that is, he's going to go down onto his back, and he's going he's gonna, to, much like a V-up, he's just going to explode up and hug his knees. Up and hug his knees. There we go. Now, if, that's, if, if you're not able to do that, another thing you can do, you can do just 15 sit-ups. So he's just gonna sit all the way up. That's an option as well. Uh, for those that really have a struggle with sit-ups, you could do crunches in this position as well, where he's just, legs are up and he's just crunching. Again, the main thing there is we don't wanna ever really be pulling on the neck. Just allow the hands to rest behind the head. Don't be pulling on the neck so that you hurt your neck. Next, we're going to go into five by five side plank rotations. The way that looks, he's going to be on his on the side plank, and then he's just going to touch down and back up. All right, and he's going to do five per side. Now that can be very very challenging for a lot of people. So he could do plank dips. So he's just going to dip his hip down. Dip, baby, dip, dip with it. Dip. That's the alternative for today. <laughs> Y'all have a good day. We'll see you. <laughs>